Hello friends, welcome to Hop Info channel. From this video, we are going to talk about the tandem lifting, hazards and precautions of the tandem lifting during the working place and at the times of lifting operation. What is the tandem lifting? Tandem lifting is also an operational procedure that is vastly used in the industrial sector. In this process, the operator can handle more than one crane or host at once to lift a huge load. Tandem operation is quite dissimilar to the other connections of an overhead crane. So, the tandem lifting operations can often put people at great risk of injury, as well as including a great cost. It is therefore important to properly resource, plan, and organize lifting operations so they are carried out in a safe manner. Each of these elements require a person or people with the sufficient competence to be involved at each step. Factor and hazard of the tandem lifting. The number one is working under the suspended load. So during the lifting operations or tandem operations, there will not allow any people to working under the suspended load. The number two is visibility. So the visibility is very important for the crane operators and the banksman to the working under the safe manner. Attaching, detaching, and securing loads. So when you have a load that should be very secure during offloading or unloading number so the number four is environment during lifting operations you need a good environment and good weather the number five is location it's another important point because you, you must be to know which location or place you want to left overturning so it's another hazard during tandem lifting operations proximity hazards the another one is directing hazard lifting people's overloading hazard previous checking hazard and control continuing integrity of the equipment hazard so you must be make a very good plans for doing the operations Tandem lifting safety precautions. The number one is planning. The planning of individual routine lifting operations may be the responsibility of those who are carrying them out. But for much more complex lifting operations like a tandem lifting, so a written plan should be developed by a person with a significant and specific competence. The number two is strength and stability. The lifting equipment must be of adequate. The number three is positioning and installation. The positions of the mobile lifting equipment or locations of fixed installations can have a dramatic effect on the risk involved in a lifting operation. The number four is working under the suspended load. Where it can be avoided, loads should not be suspended over occupied area. Where it cannot be, the number five is supervisions of the lifting operation. The number six is guidance on the planning or organizing and undertaking lifting operations. Here we come to the end of the video. Do not forget to subscribe and like my channel to get more knowledge. Until another video, have a good times and bye.